All right, this is video one in how to make a mask for very, very beginners, not, um, this is not for people who have a ton of experience for sewing necessarily. I'm trying to really simplify. So there's a fantastic pattern that I'll have a link to um, down. Um, it's on Instructables that it was created by a nurse. And um, she actually made the pattern because she knew the exact right sizes and everything. And I'm gonna show you how to simplify it. So you're gonna take a regular piece of paper. Um, this is a trick that somebody else showed me online. And um, I'm just copying and giving freely because we're all desperate and it's fantastic that you want to do this and make, and that you want to help with this situation. I just saw a list today of hospitals and how many people um, are asking for us to be making these homemade masks and it's pretty sad. So, okay. So here's what we have. This is a regular piece of paper that I've folded to five inches wide. So you can measure that. And then from there, you are going to, I'm looking for my pen and you're gonna have to, um, excuse my mess as I'm in the middle of like serious production here. And let me find a pencil. Um, trying to get as many as I can get made in a corner of my house. So um, right now, what, what this is, is one inch up from the bottom. Is that one inch? Yes. So, the, uh, and then, sorry, I'm just checking. One inch and five and a half, I think is what it was. It is. Okay, so make a mark at one inch from the bottom of your paper and then at five and a half inches on that side. And then on the other, so I'll show you this again. Five and a half. So this is if you can't, I had a real hard time printing out the pattern. Um, for some reason it just wasn't loading on my, on my thing. And um, on this one, on the other side of the paper, you're gonna do seven inches Okay, so this is what it looks like. I hope that this is right, the right direction. But basically, one inch from the one inch from the bottom here, five and a half inches here, and then at seven inches. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is take a ruler or a straight edge and draw a line from the seven and a half, or from the seven to the five and a half, and from the one over to the other corner. Okay, so then you have like a, a kind of funky trapezoid. So that is the shape. So then that's what you have the trapezoid. That's how I've made my pattern here. On the large side, the seven inch side, I want you to draw an arrow. Draw two arrows so you remember and write fold. You see how that is? Okay, now you're going to cut out these lines. You're gonna cut along here and cut along here and throw this part away because I got confused and accidentally used it as a pattern at one point. Okay, so that's what I have now. I made it the same way that you just made that. So this is now your pattern that you're gonna use. Um, you're going to be wanting to cut out two pieces of fabric for each um, for each piece. So let me try to find a good fabric to do this with. Um, I just cut out a bunch, so I'm starting over again. Let me find a little piece of fabric. Um, sorry, I'm looking real quick and I'm trying to do this before I forget that everyone, um, Maybe a good one would be a white one just so that you can see. Okay, so here's a piece of white fabric. You're gonna wanna use cotton. If you have, if you don't have a lot of fabric at your house, you can use a sheet. A sheet would work great. There's a whole article on which um, fabrics are gonna work the best. So what you can do, I can post that as well, but you are going to place this pattern. So what I did, sorry, I'll make this very clear. I have fabric that is folded over. So there's two pieces here, I folded them. 
it's one piece I folded it in half okay you can fold it again now so that you have a fold to put your fold line on okay so here's how I lined it up right there right okay now I have let's see if I can move this closer and you can look down okay right there I'm going to have my fold line here. This is the strap line along here, okay? I'm gonna draw a line here and a line here with like a Sharpie or something really clear. And then I'm gonna cut it out. And if I have folded it like that, I now have two different pieces of fabric that will basically look like this, okay? So that's how I'm gonna cut that out. You can get to the point where you can do a bunch of them at one time which is kind of how I've started to go. Um, or you can, you don't have to, but it's it'll be more precise if you don't, especially since it's your first time. So what I, so then what you wanna do is you wanna take two of these pieces, okay? Um, you're basically creating a little bit extra filtration. And um, if you have, if you are experienced at sewing, you can do some interfacing on the back and that and that non-woven interfacing will give one more layer. Um, I will actually also post a variation for people who want to make one with a filter. But right now I'm just trying to sew as many as I can, but then I realized I should stop sewing as many because if I teach people, then you guys can be sewing while I'm doing it too. Okay, so this is our mask, okay? It seems a little intimidating. I promise it's not as scary as it looks. Um, and I'm actually gonna use two different pieces of fabric or two different patterns so that you can see um, the inside versus the outside, okay. So this was a sheet I had and here's some prized African fabric that I love, okay. So here is the front, the beautiful side. I'm putting the beautiful sides together, okay. And I'm lining them up. What I'm going to do is fold them in half, okay? So I'm going to assume that they're going to want the pretty side on the outside. Um, in which case, let's see. Um, sorry, let me just think this through. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, so what I've been doing is to make it easier, actually, no, you don't have to do that, now that I think about it. You can do this because we're gonna do, sorry, I'm, do, I'm thinking out loud as I do this. Okay, um, because we're doing a binding, which sounds also a lot scarier than you think it does, it's great though because you don't need any elastic, okay? There are some simple versions out there where they're having you do six inches by nine inch rectangle and then sewing a little strap on but that's elastic and it goes around the ears and it doesn't actually form a seal. So people who wear glasses will find that their glasses are fogging up and also it's not quite as close to the nose. So it does seem difficult to do this the first time, but once you do that, um, once you do it a couple times, I promise it's not that hard. Okay, so I've got um, my two pieces of fabric. In fact, I'm going to do this in a couple different um, installments. So, but just so you know, this is the first part. So we're going to fold it in half. Okay. And I'm putting the, sorry, I'm putting the pretty side or like the, both of the fabrics are pretty sides out. Okay. But I'm going to fold the front of the mask on the inside. Okay. So the part that the people will see will be on the inside. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is it's folded down the middle. If you have an iron handy, great. I don't have mine on, so I'm not going to. What you're going to do is if you have any washi tape, that's what, that's this paper tape. It's great to use. It's about a half an inch wide. So the other way to do is just do it a half an inch wide. But, um, you are going to sew, it's called a dart and it sounds scary, but basically what you're doing is you're starting at a half an inch in, okay? So it's, you're basically gonna take, you're gonna draw, here, I'll draw this for you. So 
So um, there's a slant here on this, it's slanted at the top. And a sewing machine will usually have a line right here that's horizontal, like carved into it so that you can see. And if not, you can put a piece of tape there to mark it. So if you line this up so that it is horizontal, so when your needle is here, you're gonna go straight down from the half an inch in all the way to that little, to where it runs off the edge. And that is gonna give you a dart for your nose, okay? So watch. I'm doing a little bit of back stitching there at, at the end, okay? So now when I open this up, if I put this on my face, it's gonna tuck in better, okay? And it's gonna lie flatter to the nose, all right? We're doing the same thing at the bottom. Okay, again, this is kind of on a slant. So I'm gonna have that slant determine my dart at the bottom. I'm just going through all the layers. It would go up at my face and down at my chin. See, we're already doing pretty well. Okay, so then I'm gonna do, show you the binding and then in a different video, but for now, looks like I actually cut these. When I cut these um, sheet ones, I cut them a little too big. But um, okay, so now what you're gonna do is line this up and you're just gonna fold it. You don't have to be precise, but you just want your finished product to be about three inches wide. Okay, so I have a little measuring thing here. Again, you could put tape down. That's about three inches wide. I'm not being fussy. I've made about 40 of these now and I found that it actually doesn't really matter where the where the wrinkles are. So you're just kind of keeping that folded as you go in. And again, on the other side, just fold it on itself until it's around three inches wide. So just see, like that. Again, like I said, I cut those ones a little bit too wide before. Um, all right, that's three inches wide. Okay, so now if you see, I could stick this like this and we'll put the straps on and this is gonna be great because it's going under my chin. I can tuck it up under my glasses and it lies close to my face and it's not it's not hot and I'm not really steaming up my glasses, okay? It's also not right on my mouth so I won't like drool on it. So um, I'm gonna make a second video about um, than binding, but before I do that, I'm gonna just show you just how to finish these edges. Okay, so the next part we're gonna do is, because remember how we did those at three inches? Now you can get, this is, I'm cutting them, this piece I had just lying around is a little more than three inches, so we'll trim it. But basically, make it so it's about two inches wide or one and a half inches wide would do it. And what you're gonna do, so I'm not, I'm, it's not a precise thing, okay? It's just, this is, I, this is probably four inches by, let's see, it's probably four inches by one and a half, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is take this and put it pretty sides together, okay? So it's like that, all right? And now, and I'm doing it on the front, and I'm now sewing a quarter inch seam for that okay so that's attached then I'm gonna fold that up I'm gonna fold it over and fold this down okay so I folded it over twice okay so now you can see I've got it there 
in there. I could have actually done it the back or the front. And technically if I had started at the back, it would look prettier. So maybe I'll do the next one on the back and I'll let you see. I'm sewing that down. Okay, so I'll start this one on the back. Again, pretty sides together though, right? And I'm gonna attach this. At about a quarter inch. Actually, I think what I'll do is I will show you how to do the straps in this video so it's all in one place, and then I'll do a second one on how to make binding. Um, so for this one, I'll just use a binding, a prepackaged binding, because then I don't end up having to do two different videos. But what I did. Sorry, I hope that I made it clear, but I started, remember we sewed it up, I folded it over, folded it twice, and so now it's like this, okay? I'm gonna trim off the little excess pieces, and what I'm gonna do is use some binding I have on hand just to make this all in one video. Okay, so I happen to have this stuff here. We'll talk about it later about what this is, but you're gonna need 36 inches, okay? So 36 inches of your binding. You could use any fabric to make binding. You could make it to be um, probably about, yeah. I mean, it's half, this is half inch binding. So this is actually bias tape. If you have bias tape on hand, that's great. Um, but basically you're gonna go to the center point. So you got 36 inches, find that center point press it with your fingers so you're smashing it. We made a nice little crease, see that? And I'm gonna line that up with the crease on my mask, okay? And I'm pinning it. So um, now I'm gonna go in and if you are worried about like the ends of the binding, I've actually on a lot of mine, I've just tied knots because it just makes it easier. But um, I'm, I'm folding it in on itself to make it so that it becomes a cord. And I'm gonna fold it. To, um, close enough to where I can feel it tugging up against my pin, I will fold that in. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you can see. I'm gonna fold it in on my, let's see if you can see here. I'm gonna have to move this around. Sorry, don't mind my mess. Okay. So as I'm doing this, you can see that I'm going to go, I'm capturing the loose edges of that mask in here. Okay, so now I take my pin out because I'm, I'm there and I'm even gonna lay this part down flat. So there's this, okay, I'm letting it lay flat. So, I'm trying to do this one-handed. put this back so that I can um, hopefully teach you better. Oh, sorry, the hand. Okay, um, so I'm just trapping all of this within my one inch binding. I do, or it's half inch binding that is one inch wide initially, so I can show how to make that in a separate one if you don't have any on hand. I happened to have some that I had bought. I have no idea why I had bought it. I'm actually tucking in the edges on this one so that I don't have to um, do a knot on this one, but I have been actually, okay, there's that one. So now I've got it almost completely done, getting my second piece 
again, finding that center, creasing it, matching it up to, so where did my crease go? There it is, okay, matching it up to my seam, pinning it halfway, and then starting here, I'm just folding the end down here, um, which works just fine. Okay. A little bit of back stitching at the end. If you had one inch wide ribbon, I've done that too. I've actually done it even with half inch wide ribbon. That also will work. It just have, that's what you have on hand and you're afraid of making it. I think the amount of hospitals I'm seeing that need these right now, I think they are not gonna be choosy. But ideally, the reason why ribbon or cord or fabric like this is better than elastic is that the hospitals can bleach them or sterilize them in, in high heat and um, use them over and over again. So, again, I wanna say thank you to the first person who posted a video like this. I'm only recording it because hers disappeared from her story. Um, her name is Ramona Rose on Instagram. And none of this is really my idea. I'm just sharing the information. of my students who asked if I would record it and use very simple terms. So that's why I recorded this. So it might take you a few times to get it, but all in all, this is actually a really simple pattern to make. And as you see, it really only requires fabric, which is kind of fantastic. So this is finished now. Um, I'm gonna show you. That's how it would go. Okay, up on my nose as well. And there you go. There you have it. Bye.